Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Friday, December 3rd, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Lily. And I'm Nikolai, and today we are joined once again by Garfield and his friend. Thank you for joining us today, and now let's all unite in honor of America by standing and placing our hand over heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. We have a special guest in the studio today for our Did You Know. Now over to Claire and Brooke. Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Brooke. Did you know? Whoa, what is that? To infinity and beyond! Oh, thanks, Buzz. Yes, on this very day in 1616, John Wallace, English mathematician and cryptographer, who introduced this as a, sign, as a symbol for infinity, was born in Ashford, England. Thanks, Claire and Brooke. Wait, if John Wales was born in 1616, then we have been utilizing the infinity sign in math for a very, very long time. Wikipedia says here that we've been using it as a math symbol since 1655, so let's do the math. 2021 minus 1655 is 366 years. The symbol infinity, sometimes called the lemniscate, comes from the Latin word lemniscus, which means ribbon, while the word in infinity comes from the Latin word infinitus, which means boundless. Infinity is important in mathematics, cosmology, physics, computing, and the arts. Many of us know that pi is used in finding the area and perimeter of, of a circle is infinite. Next, we have yesterday's survey results, asking whether you would have your favorite food for the rest of your life, or if you'd be able to have everything except your favorite food. Here are the results. Looks like it was pretty one-sided, and everything except your favorite food won by a lot. The widow from yesterday was, I, I am always hungry and will die if not fed, but whatever I touch will seem turn red. What am I? And the answer is fire. It will go out if does not get kindling, but whatever catches on fire will turn red. And the riddle for today is, George, Helen, and Steve are drinking coffee. Bert, Karen, and Dave are drinking Pepsi. Following this pattern, is Elizabeth, is Elizabeth drinking coffee or soda, and why? This answer will be given during Monday's announcements. Our fact of the day, did you know that the first person to ever get a speeding ticket was going eight miles per hour? What, that's crazy. I know, right? Now on to birthdays. Happy birthday to Jaden A. and Beckham H. We hope everyone has a great day. Next up, the outstanding and confident Mr. Harris with the activity announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. Just a couple announcements for you today. Both of these are repeats. Uh, first of all, the, the High School Innovation Lab QR code has been sent to you in your school email, and it's also in the s'more. That uh, QR code is the application for the Cinovation Lab at the high school. Those applications are due on January 14th. There will be one more information session. That will be on December 7th. International Club, you're going to meet today after school in room 214. That is Wolford Sensei's classroom. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Next up, we have Somebody and Anna with the Daily Lunch segment. This is a brand new segment. We hope you find it helpful. Welcome to the Daily Lunch segment with Anna and my anonymous assistant. Today's main entree is mashed potato bowl. There will also be the usual entrees of pizza, hamburgers, and salads. And if you are prepared for Monday's lunch, it will be boneless wings with a roll. We hope you have a good lunch. Shout out to the 7th grade band because it's Red Book Appreciation Day. We just finished the music in our Red Book, so we all wore red today. As you can see, I'm celebrating Red Book Day. Wow, cool. That's all we have for today. Don't forget to check the SJH Communications Classroom for today's daily survey and check those emails. Have a fantastic weekend. Time for the joke of the day. Today's joke is, yesterday a guy spilled Scrabble letters all over the road. So I asked him, what is a word on the street? <laughs> <laughs> Go Aves! Go Aves!